Hey, buddy. Are you, um, busy right now? Do you have a minute? Great. Can I, can I, like, ask you a question? Okay, um, well, can I ask you a Neko question? Ah, uh, hey, wow, no. Not that one. Well, yeah, I know you don't eat mice. Yeah, I know you don't wash yourself by licking yourself. I regularly gotta clean a shit ton of your fur out of the shower drain strainer, you know? Huh? You got barbs on your... what? Oh, wow, do people actually ask you that? Hey, buddy, calm down. You know me. I won't say I'm completely free of prejudice, but wow, you ought to know me better than that. Really, I'm not a complete asshole. What? No, it's fine. You don't need to apologize. I guess when you are an echo, you get a ton of crap from all the stupid people out there, huh? I mean, if I just think about how often I encountered some bastard thinking it was totally okay to just grab your fur like it was the most ordinary thing in the world, like that bitch that was groping your ears on the subway last week. Ugh, who does she think she is? No, I didn't tackle her. Maybe I shoved her. Okay, maybe it was a full body shove. Yeah, full body shove with a running start. What can I say? I can't stand it when other girls grope you. Um, when people in general grope you, I mean. <laughs> what? Oh, the question I wanted to ask you. Right. So, um, well, what I wanted to ask you... So, the thing is, I mean... Neko's like ear scritchies, right? Hey, whoa, yeah, I know you shouldn't just randomly grope a Neko. We've just talked about it, remember? That's exactly why I'm asking you. How do you ask a Neko for permission to touch them? Hey, don't look at me like that. It's not creepy. How was that creepy? Okay, so there is this Neko friend of mine, and we've known each other for a really long time already, and we're getting along great, and I really like them, and they have, like, the floofiest ears in the galaxy. They're amazing. Every time I see them, I just want to tickle them, and run my fingers through their fluff and aww. I'd be gentle with them, of course, but anyways, I know that you shouldn't just touch a person without their permission, and that Nekos are kind of peculiar about their ears, and well, yeah, that's why I wanted to ask you, what do I have to do to get my friend's permission to touch their ears? Hey, why are you offended right now? This whole thing is about consent. I don't want to know how to trick them into allowing me to touch them or how to pressure them into allowing me to touch them. I just want to know how to, what shall we call it, culturally, sensitively ask for their permission to touch them. And if they say no, then that's just how it is. And I hope I can still remain friends with them afterwards. Okay, so how do I do it? How do I ask a Neko for permission to touch their ears in a non-creepy way? I mean, should I be direct? Just like, hey buddy, I really like your ears. They're probably the cutest thing ever and I would really like to touch them. Or should I first have a really long conversation about boundaries and their feelings and who wants to do what for what reason and stuff? Oh, come on, I mean... How would, for example, you like to be asked? Yeah, I mean the people who are allowed to touch your ears. How did they do it? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, you don't mean nobody, as in, you know, nobody. Yeah, okay, no one from our friend group ever does, but nobody? You mean not even other Nikos? So... You currently have literally no one to ever wait. Do you not like ear scritchies? You do? But then, why won't you... I mean, when was the last time anybody stroked your ears? Yeah, consensually. I don't mean that bitch on the subway. Wow. Are you for real? What about head scritchies? Dude, back rubs? 
that thing where you scratch a neko under their chin and they rub their head against you? Goodness, that is so sad. No, that's beyond sad. That's tragic. So, in that case, let's say if anyone wanted to stroke your ears, and you'd actually be okay with them doing it, just hypothetically, how would they have to ask? Hey, don't just change the subject now. Okay, this is an awkward topic for you, but I need your help here. I really want to pet that Neko friend of mine's ears, and I don't really have anyone else to ask. Huh? Come on, Humphrey is a crocodile person. If I ever want to know how to ask a crocodile person for permission to stroke their scales, I'll be sure to ask Humphrey. But for this, you're the only Neko friend I have. Um, except for that other Neko friend, of course. The one whose ears I want to pet. What? Nah, you don't know them. Huh? Intimate? I thought it was just like a hug, you know? Something you do with really close friends. What do you mean, some Nekos? But you don't? Why not? Hey, how is it embarrassing to get your ears fondled? Huh? You don't want people to think that you... Oh, come on. Just because you occasionally enjoy some ear scritchies doesn't mean that you... And why would it even be bad if you cuddled all day? Huh? Who thinks that you're stupid? Dude, when you talk about your job, I don't understand half the words you use. When I have a problem with, like, anything, you're the first guy I come to. I'm not gonna think that you just lie on someone's lab all day and get your ear scritched just because you occasionally... Huh? Your co-workers think that you were hired as the token Neko? And your boss sends you to get him coffee? They left tuna and canned milk at your desk? Um, any chance that was just a severely misguided attempt to be nice? No? Okay. Wait, what? She asked whether you were an emotional support animal. Dude, wow. You should get another job. Okay, let me sum this up real quick. You actually do like ear scritchies and back rubs and cuddles and stuff, but you are afraid of accepting them because you're worried that if you did, you would conform to the stereotype and people would think that you're just a stupid cat boy who just cuddles all day and is good for nothing else. Wow, that's rough. Some people sure are racist bastards, and I thought the jerks groping on the subway were bad. Um, okay, so to get back to my question. If I very respectfully asked my Neko friend for their leave to touch their ears, while, of course, assuring them that I know that they are very smart and hardworking and are by no means lying on someone else's lap all day to get their ears petted, do you reckon they would give me their permission? Yeah, of course. Not all Nekos are the same. I totally get that. It depends on their personality. You could tell me if you... Oh, um, again... I don't think you know them. So is there like a ritual to it? Any intermediate steps I need to work through? Something I should say or do to make it less awkward? To demonstrate them that I have no unsavory intentions and just really like them and really, really want to floof their ears because I think that they would enjoy that too? Okay, respect. I can do that. You know me. I am really respectful if the situation calls for it. Anything else? Respecting their boundaries? Of course. A no is a no. I get that. Again, I'm not an asshole. Huh? Being honest? Oh, um, yeah, sure. Okay, let's assume I do get their permission. Then what? How do I do it? I mean, if all of this is such a big deal, it kind of sounds like I only get one attempt. I don't want to mess it up. So... Is there, like, a technique to it? The great do's and don'ts of Neko ear petting? Huh? Don't use the word pet because that makes it sound like you were thinking of them as an animal. It doesn't! You can pet people as well. I, for example, would actually really like to get pet by that Neko friend of mine. 
Anyway, I actually meant stuff more like, how much pressure am I supposed to apply? Are there any no-go areas I'm not supposed to touch? Are there any sweet spots that I am supposed to touch? This is all really complicated once you start to really think about it. And I'm kind of afraid of messing it up. And it's not like I could practice this on anyone else I know, right? Hmm, that got me thinking. Okay, my next question might be a bit, um, unusual, but hear me out. Would it be okay if I practiced ear scritches on you? Hey, whoa, calm down. You know me. We've been best friends and flatmates for an eternity now. You know I would never do anything that made you uncomfortable. But I'm really desperate right now, because I want to get this right, and I've never touched a Neko's ears before. Come on, you know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important to me. Was that a yes? I mean, I can't really be sure because you were kind of mumbling and hiding your face and stuff, but it was a yes? Yes! Okay, so let's get started. Huh? Yeah, now. You seem a bit uneasy, buddy. Hey, listen, we can stop this at any time if you... Oh, oh, okay, if you say so. So I've watched some YouTube videos on this. And it appears that the best method is to just lightly scritch the area between and behind the ears with your fingertips. here. Come on, I've never done this before. Give me some feedback. It's fine. Okay. That sounds a bit underwhelming. And you're being rather tight-lipped right now. Come on, I need you to help me here. Does it feel nice like this? Should I go faster or slower? Is it more of a circling movement? Or should I go back and forth? Wait, let me try something. Hey, buddy. You're stiff as a board. Am I doing it wrong? Do you want me to stop? Do you like it here? Hey, are you blushing? No, no, no. Hey, buddy, it's fine. I mean, this means that I'm doing it right, doesn't it? Uh, okay, I'll be good to go, okay? How about I gently massage your ears now? Just to know whether that would be enjoyable if I did that to that other nigga friend of mine, of course. not too much pressure. Your ears are really soft and fluffy. Wait, that's not an impolite thing to say, right? Hey, you look a bit queasy. Am I that bad at it? Oh my god, I suck at ear massages and my other Nego friend will hate it and never let me do it again, right? Come on, talk to me. I'm kind of out of my comfort zone here. I need some advice to amp up my ear screechy game. What? Oh, you don't have to say that just to make me feel better. I mean, if 
I was good at this, then you wouldn't be sitting there with a dead eye, thousand yard stare, looking like you just wanted it to be over with. You'd be, I don't know, purring or something, right? Huh? Why would you try not to purr? Are you for real now? I'm your roomie and your best friend. If you can't purr in front of me, when can you purr in front of? Oh, for the last time. I know that you're smart. I know that you're good at your job. I know that you're not a pet, and a little purring every now and then will not change my image of you. I mean, I probably make all kinds of weird noises if somebody carries me in a way that I like. And that wouldn't make you assume that I suddenly was stupid and did nothing but get cuddles all day, right? So will you snap out of it? I'm trying to get this right. my other hand to ruffle the fur in the neck. believe you that this feels nice. Man, I believe I've never heard you purr before. How long do we know each other again? Is there anything I should do differently? I mean, I can't get better at this if you don't tell me. Huh? Well, I take it that this is a 10 out of 10 no notes then. Hey buddy, I was wondering. While we're at it anyways, is there a chance I could try out some other techniques? Just to make sure I'm doing them right, of course. I was thinking about stuff like chin scritchies. Apparently Nikos really like those, but I have no idea how to properly administer them. So, would it be okay if I tried them out on you first? <laughs> well, I'll take your blissful purring as a yes. Okay, buddy. Here we go.
will take that as a yes. Hey, what if you keep shivering like this? You will lose control of your nipple. Yeah, maybe you should just wasn't on too much just to keep yourself from losing your balance. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do differently. After all, I want to get perfect at this. friend of mine. Yeah, I really like them. Hey, what is it? You stop purring. Is everything alright? Hmm, that's a good question. Let's see. I've known them for years. We get along really well. They're super helpful to me whenever I have any sort of problem. And they're almost unbearably cute. Yeah, I think I do like them, like them. I'm sorry? Oh, why do you want to know? Yeah, they're my best friend in the world. I couldn't ever do without them. We even live together. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's you, silly. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, really? I didn't trick you into anything. I told you truthfully that I wanted to know how to ask my nickel best friend for permission to fluff your ears. And my nickel best friend is you wanted to do this for an eternity, but you always get so defensive when it comes to anything technical, so I never knew how to ask for it. But then I got the idea to simply ask you how to ask for it, and well, here we are. <laughs> hey, are you angry with me now? If so, I'm really sorry. You see, I really didn't know what else to try. And in my defense, I did get the impression that you rather enjoyed this. Plus, you seemed a bit jealous when I talked about that other nickel friend of mine. Oh? I can have as many nickel friends as I want? That's very indulging of you. Can I also snuggle with all of them the way you're snuggling with me right now. Oh, now we're on to something. So you are not the least bit jealous, right? Are you sure? Because <laughs> it would seem that you want my snuggles all to yourself. Might there be a particular reason for that, I wonder? Sorry, I'm afraid I didn't hear you correctly. You are a bit hard to understand when your face is snuggled into my chest. Could you, perchance, look into my eyes and say that again, please? Huh? Oh, is that so? Well, that's great, because as it happens, I love you too. Well, it feels really good to finally say it. So then, what shall we do next? Hmm? More 
beer scourges? Well, yeah, we could do that, but I think I have an even better idea. <laughs>